Howdy, Beef Love Bart here, and welcome. Hopefully this is not bleeding over into the previous one, but again, this is um, part of the new series that I'm going to do. Relatively short videos. They are free game ideas. And with these free game ideas, uh, what I'll do is show a visual representation of a free game mode. Um, the newer ones that I'm going to do video-wise are going to be done a new project and I will make a playable version so you and your team can walk through and check them out. This one that I'm going to feature right now as the first one has already been created in another project and I'm not going to recreate this. Now this one does use Cinti Studios asset which is really awesome. Um, so they will help with giving that visual representation of what we're doing with this. Well thank you and I really really appreciate that. So hopefully you guys are going to like this um, this first concept. Um, this one was actually created um, kind of working with somebody else on it, and that person decided they were going to just vanish and never come back. But what the basic concept is, see this, okay, it looks like a bathroom. Not a very big room. But we hit play, and, um, well, we're kind of tiny. And... The whole basic concept of this is a fast-paced first-person, third-person shooter where you're running around trying to, you know, you can either be last man left alive or a woman, but little things that allow you to climb up and, no, there's nothing in the toilet. Um, but yeah, a miniature version of a town so that you can actually run around and hide in different obstacles like in the sink or in the tub or you can find ways of getting into uh, like the dresser over here to try to find power-ups maybe find a location to um, to hide and snipe from this one was a really really small map it would be just a really really fast pace and no I didn't turn a collision off on the water in the tub yet but um, was a basic concept of you are tiny trying to fight inside of a um, really huge environment. Um, you can set up a house for you know creating every room in a house. So if I hit play on this one, uh, I did put random spawn points in this one just for posterity. You can walk over, hide in the glass. Hey, let me out of here. Um, but yeah, the, the basic concept of this one is what you see. You're tiny inside of a, a huge version of a room. Uh, little tricks like you can't get into the next room, but you leave the door cracked open a little bit and maybe put some furniture in the next room. Uh, but try to come up with creative ways that don't look totally staged on how to get your character to go to different areas. Thankfully, um, using the Cindy Studios assets allows um, a lot of already pre-made assets. Go over here and get behind the, the X-Station Play 360 920 or whatever the hell these console things are. Um, but yeah. But with having multiple respawn points, you're in a drawer. Yeah, don't ask what that sausage-looking thing is next to the lubricant. Um... <laughs> start on the floor um, and yes you can walk underneath the bed so the whole basic concept is it just the feel of the game is for fun it's not one of these things where you're trying to take yourself way too serious with the style of combat um, I would say other things you could put in here would be booby traps um, a wristwatch or you know where were you step on it, the wristwatch converted into uh, a landmine or um, lots of little things you can do like there's a TV over here on the dresser and if you walk over here and step on the um, the power button on the remote control it'll turn the TV on and a video will start playing um, maybe a little short video that comes on and goes back off, you walk over here by the lamp and it automatically turns on um, you could do other things like um, have an electrical cable that's hanging down. If you get too close to it, you get electrocuted. Um, the whole point is to be creative and come up with 
everyday hazards that would actually be a problem for the player being this small inside of a, a room that if you were a normal human, and no, I didn't put a ceiling on, but um, like I said, this was just as a visual representation of what you can do with it. And really and truly, the only thing that really was a matter of doing was creating a room. Okay, no problem. We created room, windows, doors, that kind of stuff. Then whenever you hit play, this is a normal size you would be. So instead of doing it this way, um, if you were to look at, uh, let's see, sample map, go back in here, you're just scaling up the items. It's basically the same room, but everything has been resized 10 times. Now you can do 10 times, you can do 20 times, you can do whatever you want. But, and that's the whole cool aspect of it, is you're running around this miniature town, and you're able to shoot at each other, do full, um, you could do a battle royale if you wanted to in this kind of um, environment. Um, you could do, uh, honestly, you could do any kind of game mode, deathmatch, team deathmatch, um, and that kind of stuff. Since this is a relatively short video, I um, want to show off one other type that um, was a partially created project that was for somebody else who decided that um, they also weren't going to stick around and, and keep making it. But another real popular thing, and I don't know why, was zombies and zombie apocalypse and killing zombies and, you know, I'm not into the whole battle. I'm not into the cookie cutter games that people have already done to death you know kind of think outside the box a little bit and this particular one right here um, like I said it was done as a proof of concept for doing this particular type of game mode and I'm going to wait for shaders because I haven't opened the project in a while uh, the basic concept of this one is with a zombie apocalypse but instead of your whole soul deal to come over and kill the zombies, instead of killing them, why not, you know... Oh, right. Okay, get him back in the other mode. Okay, so you can see, quote-unquote, this is our zombie. He's not set to do any kind of attacking or anything else. But in instead of shooting him, why not take and administer a cure. Shooting a tranquilizer dart at him that's filled with uh, medication. So, administer four doses and the, um, the zombie yes, headshot. Turns back into a, um, a normal person. So you're taking the, the zombie and they're actually an infected um, person instead of just a pure zombie. And instead of, like I said, actually trying to kill them. You're trying to heal them back and what will happen is if it's a team versus team environment where we'll say 20 versus 20, 10 versus 10 and what happens is if you're infected it's your task to try and infect the normal players. The normal players are the uninfected or the the cured or whatever you want to call them. Um, and what happens is when you infect one of the people who are normal, they become infected, and now they're on your team. So if there it was ten versus ten, and um, I cure one of the um, the infected, now it's eleven versus nine. And if I do another one, and now that I've taken two of theirs, there's only eight infected, and now there's twelve of the regular. And the way you win the battle is to completely rid one team or the other of either you cure all the infected or you infect all the normal people and then you could throw a timer in on top of that so your whole course of action is you're running around and I'm infected we'll say now I've just turned him into an infected and now he's on my team why are you getting all up in my shit man not nice so now, if I'm on the regular team, it's my job to cure this guy. Now he's cured, he becomes on my team. So that actually is more or less a game type. 
And why not take it and put it inside of a town, put it inside of a city, put it inside of a forest, build your maps to where they fit the theme of what's going on. You can have the post-apocalyptic vibe to your game. You can do whatever you want, but the whole basics of that is instead of you're trying to kill everything, um, you're actually trying to save them or infect them, either one. I don't know why I have a trampoline in here. I just pfft, do. Um, so that's another good um, game type. It's like with the uh, the Polygon Town. Imagine I got the Polygon Town city zombies and the city characters in this particular um, demonstration. Again, City Studios um, asset packs and their characters, their buildings, their their assets in general make prototyping a game really, really quick and easy. So, as soon as this loads, then show you the basic concept of if it were in a town environment. And then uh, we'll transition to one other really quickly. Because these are short explanations on these different ones. Um, and that's the whole nature of this video is to be able to get in here and do maybe 10, 15 minutes and cover different game types. And as I'm creating new versions, uh, we'll have more in-depth detail. Now, instead of just being, well, you could just do like this, you know, zombie apocalypse, battle royale, whatever. Uh, whenever I actually go through, I will construct an actual walk-around playable representation and... With that, there won't be any other asset. It will just be the UE4 mannequin, BSP geometries, basic map setup, just enough to get the concept across. But we'll be more in depth into the breakdown of the game, the play style. I've got one in particular that I'll do probably this evening, and it's a game that I would create myself if I really wanted to spend the time on it. Um, it's going to involve a lot of cool aspects I think it's a little bit different style of game mode with a little bit different style you know it's hard to come up with a game that's a hundred percent unique because everything has at least one little aspect has been done at least three or four times you know how many games have had zombies how many games have had robots how many games have had whatever so you're not going to be Every aspect is not going to be 100% unique, but the overall feel and vibe of the game will be completely unique. And I've got the game core that I know that I would build as my my one game that I would ever build and release. And the hardest part is getting other people to actually subscribe to your dream, so to speak. And, you know... <laughs> The uh, why would I work hard on your game if you're not going to pay me right now? I and mean, everybody wants a paycheck, and everybody wants to to have their dream realized. And I understand that. You know, I want my dream to happen. You want your dream to happen. So now, well, oh, I've actually already put sound in this map. Um. Which is unusual. I usually forget whenever I'm just doing quick demos like this. But yeah, the um, the concept here. Imagine this little small town. And some of the maps actually put a church bell sound when you walk by the church on the the demo map. Um, you're inside the small town. There's the infected are roaming around. They might be inside the, the hardware store, or they might be over there in a convenience store. They might be in somebody's house, the garage, or whatever. And then at the beginning of the map, you start playing. You're running around, you know, dressed as whatever. Um, you wouldn't want to necessarily always be a doctor and running around, oh, I'm a doctor, I'm going to cure you. But what happens if you become infected? Are you an infected doctor? You know, that kind of stuff. So having very different character types comes in handy maybe letting the player pick theirs and what you'll have to do is create if unless you're using the um, 
like the Cindy assets where you have a good overlap. You've got the um, City Zombies pack, and with the City Zombie pack, it's all just characters alone. And all the characters in here, and there's a bunch, there's 50. Um, you've got Nurses, Waitress, um, you've got Gamer Girl, I see Clown, Male, and there's even the uh, Zombie Hot Dog Suit, and you can combine that with, you um, got the Riot Cop there, the City Characters. You'll have some overlap of characters here. There's the hot dog, the firefighter, the uh, the biker dude, and then the Polygon Town will have some of the, um, the same characters. Um, let's see here. Like the mother, the, the father character, and that kind of stuff is overlapped with the zombies characters. So what I would do is, what I was doing with this particular one right here, it's like the fast food mail, that's in the um, the city characters, uh, the biohazard guy, and things like that, is pick the characters that actually overlap. So that, I know that, for example, you got um, hot dog guy here. This is the zombie hot dog. So your players could run around as a zombie hot dog or the infected hot dog and then whenever you go over here to the city characters um, you actually have the non-infected so you would have the non-infected and infected versions of the two you can overlap between those three asset packs uh, that should cover quite a bit of them um, but that way whenever your player is in normal status they look like this whenever they get infected then they become the, the zombie version so that being said, we're going to go ahead and finish up this video here. Um, but this basic concept is instead of murdering the zombies or murdering the regular folks, you're not actually killing anything. You're either infecting or you're curing. There's no actual death involved in this. Who's fun in that? You shouldn't be always trying to... No. Killing things should always be the last thing you, 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 you should think about. Um, if you want to take a stand on something okay there's so many games out there on the market that is all about killing and I did not put an audio exclusionary zone and I didn't fix that set of stairs so you can hear the wind inside one of my many videos shows actually how to uh, it's like you're you hear the wind noise but you don't want to hear that wind noise when you're inside of a house so I didn't do that on this one, but um, yeah, so many games are involving killing, murder, death, you know, that kind of stuff. Zombies eating brains and pulling your intestines out. Games don't have to be all about violence. They don't always have to be about killing and murder and, and dismembering and chopping people into little parts, running them over in the streets, sniping them from a thousand meters away. Break out a little bit, branch out a little bit, and try the infected mode where you're either infecting or you're curing but you're, there is no death involved okay think outside the box all right we're going to wrap up this video and what i want to do is continue on with these different things and like i said what i will do is actually have i've got what's um project called free ideas what i'm going to do with this project here is I'm going to go ahead and create the first sample of an entire game. And right now there's nothing in here. As you can see, there's nothing. Just my lobby map and my main menu map. So there are new, no maps made yet. But I will take some time today and I will knock out a map that will give an idea of the basic concept of what this full game type is going to be. This video here was just to showcase a couple different basic ideas, but the next video is actually going to be a full game concept, and I have lots of documentation, I have lots of background story, lots of other stuff to go along with. Just creating the basic game type is okay, but you really need to have kind of a backstory, a forward, you need to kind of have a direction for your, your game format and then start building based off of that. So what I will do is um, 
actually go ahead and start creating that map and we'll go from there all right guys i want to thank you all for watching and we are just shy of hitting the 1000 subscriber mark so if you're not subscribed please hit that subscribe button we're at 992 right now um, i don't advertise my videos i don't put meta tags in them these are primarily for people who find their way to my Discord channel and who have watched my other videos who have already subscribed and was doing that experiment for a few months just to see how that worked out. Then I'll go back to putting tags in all my videos. Even though I'm doing a lot of live streaming, it's more convenient for me to do a live stream. Plus, you get to see real time how I'm screwing up whenever I'm doing whatever I am doing. And if you guys want to see me do a video creating the map, that's one thing, but I'm going to spend uh, some time today and go ahead and create it. This is like quarter to 9 a.m. in the morning. So by this evening, I'll have a visual representation of what I would do with that game mode. And we'll set it up as a playable standalone that if I can actually upload a version of. And it's called Free Ideas. And the first map will be the first game design that I'm going to share with everybody. All right, thanks again and we will see you guys soon. If you got questions, check out my Discord channel. I watch that all day long. If I'm awake, Discord is actually t occupying an entire 32-inch monitor by itself. On um, my right monitor has nothing on it but Discord. So, if I'm awake, you post a message, I will see it. Make sure you check by my server rules section. No DMs, no mentions. There's basically the, the two main rules there. The third is just be nice. Th three rules. Be nice or be gone. No mentions and um, no DMs. The only time you should ever send me a DM is if it's something that is private. Um, I don't accept friend requests because um, if you're not my friend, then I'm not going to add you as my friend on, on Discord. I have an entire channel with hundreds of people that, uh, yeah, come and go all the time. So if you got something to ask me, just ask me in one of the channels, in the appropriate channels. All right, guys and gals, love you all, not, and not just when it's cold. So we will see you around. Take care. Bye-bye.